We're trying to get ripped because we're going to rip into some sex, drugs, and lobster rolls. We've thrown it to Boston. We have a lot to thank Boston for. You got my man John Adams. You got Sam Adams, the beer and the man. You have the site of the 1986 World Series and maybe most importantly, the lobster roll. This is the spatchcock take on it. What we're gonna do in spatchcock funk is we're gonna make grilled lobster rolls. So let's get started with it. What we're gonna do in this recipe is you're gonna get a bunch of lobster tails. Now to prep a lobster tail for the grill, take a pair of kitchen shears or scissors as some people call them. And then you have your lobster tail and you wanna clip off all of their little feet, right? So clip the little feeties off, cut it with the shears along the bottom underneath the skin. And then on the top, you're gonna cut it all the way along the top of the shell. So you've got the shell cut, then lay it flat. Take a good strong kitchen knife, a chef's knife and cut it in half. So you've got the lobsters looking like that. So for each lobster tail with the open side, the meat side, we've got about a stick of butter here and a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning that's all mixed up. So what we're gonna do is we are going to brush this on the meat side of the lobster and over medium heat on your grill, we're gonna put a meat side down. So on the shells, put the remainder of your butter across the top of the shells and it'll seep down into that fleshy, fleshy part. So as you're going after a few minutes, you're gonna to start to see the shells turn red. That means we're moving in the right direction. Occasionally check the lobster, it's not ready yet, but the shells are turning red and we'll get those crisscross patterns on the flesh. Now they're bright red, right? And you're gonna see in the bottom of them that crisscross applesauce, the grill marks, right? So at that point now, we can start flipping them over, let them go for another couple, three minutes till we get the meat all cooked, but it's gonna have this nice golden flavory lines on it. Mm. Once the lobsters are cooked, you're gonna pull them out of your grill, pull them off the grill, and you gotta let them sit so they can cool off so we can pluck the meat out. So pull them out, let them rest. First, we're gonna make the wet part of the dressing. We want a quarter cup of mayonnaise. We want a quarter of a diced plum tomato fresh. We want two tablespoons of minced green onion or scallions and then the juice of a de-seeded half lemon. Now, you might think there's not a lot of dressing. It's not, because the star of this is the grilled lobster flavor. The dressing's more of the vehicle. So you're gonna stir that up until it gets to be a really almost a pinkish color and it's gonna get even pinkier and pinkier like pinky in the brain once we get all that lobster in there. Once the lobster's cooled, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna pluck the meat using your hands out of the shell. If you have a full piece of meat, set it aside and chop it coarsely. And then with your thumb, pluck out the rest of the meat that you have and just put it into a larger mixing bowl that we're gonna add the dressing to in a minute. So pluck out as much meat as you can and get it into the bowl. We've plucked all our meat, so now it's time to get plucking going. So we've got our meat in here. Take the dressing, the wet dressing we made, and using a nice little rubber spatula, Get that on top of the meat. Then, little bit, quarter teaspoon of salt. A little bit less than a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Two teaspoons of shredded, diced, fresh tarragon. It's a little teeny bit of spice because again, the lobster's the star of the show. So. You're gonna mix all this up. And after it's chilled for at least 30 minutes, you're gonna make yourself a sandwich. Now, we love to have it on a brioche hot dog roll that we grill on the sides because we like the grill marks. So first, open it up, take some Boston bib lettuce because of Boston and also because it's got a little velvety feel and man, we're nothing but class up in here today. So layer that on there so it kind of hangs off the side a little bit. So we're gonna take the lobster, and you know what, man? You're just gonna take it and get some good heaping parts into your roll. Because again, you wanna get all that goodness in there. Now, once it's on there, we're gonna take it, get it stuffed in there, cut it diagonal, 
that's how we like to do it. Hope you're rocking shell tops because we got our shells off for this lobster salad sandwich. <laughs>